Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's uh, week 11 in the NFL. We're doing our regular uh, popular segment with Doug Upstone, getting his uh, top value plays for the week. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. Peter, glad to be back here, and especially glad to be back coming off the first 3-0 week oh, nice. of the season. So looking to really build some uh, momentum coming off that, baby. All right. Hey, congratulations, Doug Upstone. Uh, last year, we know how strong you came on at the end, 3-0 and last week. Let's see if you can do it again. What's your first value pick for us, NFL Week 11? My first value pick is looking at the San Francisco 49ers uh, going up against the New York Giants. Now, in this game, you know, or I should say last week, rather, San Francisco went back to what they call 49ers football by running the ball. And even though they built up a quick early lead, you know, things kind of New Orleans was going to come back. You knew that was going to happen. But ultimately, they prevailed. Now, the Giants last week, they really played hard, but they are really thin on the defensive side with all the injuries. And they ended up giving up 350 yards on the ground to Seattle. I think San Francisco is going to come prepared to, you know, to initiate the same kind of game plan uh, to really just try and bowl over the Giants, even though it's a road game. I think the number is short enough. And then I also find that San Francisco is 10-2 and two against teams uh, that, are, that allow 24 or more points, and they're a perfect 6-0 and oh against opponents that give up more, uh, six or more yards per play. I'm on San Francisco on the road in New Jersey. My sense in this game is it reminded me a little bit of the Jets Pitts game, uh, pit game last week, and that uh, you know, I mean, because the Giant, yeah, the Giants are bad, but they were also hanging tough with Seattle last week up until the fourth quarter, and uh, you know, the Niners got a little bit lucky against the Saints, uh, not not lucky, but there were turnovers had a lot to do with their win last week. So I was leaning towards the Giants at plus four, but uh, you know, I'm still sort of like circling this line, not sure what I think about it, and definitely your opinion on the Niners minus four is uh, you know holds a lot of weight. All right, what's your second value pick for us, Doug? So. My second value pick is the Cleveland Browns. Now, you know, the, uh, the big thing uh, in, the, in the city of Cleveland right now is the Cleveland Cavaliers jersey. But now with the Browns in first place, I think you're going to find some Christmas lists that are also going to include some of those. Now, this week, the Browns are going to play Houston, who are going to start Ryan Mallett for the first time as their quarterback. Now, I expect the Texans, what, what they'll do is to use a hamstrung Arian Foster to, to run the ball and try and throw a lot of short passes, not take a lot of chances with their quarterback. But when I look at what Cleveland's been doing lately, they've held their last five opponents to 13.4 points per game and forced 13 turnovers in the process. Now, this Brian Hoyer at quarterback, you know, he's not going to overwhelm anybody, but he's very effective in what he does in the terms of their offense, and he is a playmaker. And I think he'll have success against Houston's 29th ranked pass defense. I think you got a nice short number here with Cleveland at home, and I think they're an excellent value this week, Peter. All right, Doug Upson, uh, you know, kind of the same as last game. I've been circling this game, scratching my head thinking about it because I've been leaning towards Houston here. I've been thinking that Houston might be able to stay within the number. Definitely, you know, the Browns have been a, an impressive team this year, and they've been a good bet. I think they're 5-2-2 two and two against the spread on the year, but... Uh, in this spot, I was thinking maybe they'll be able to keep it close, that the value might be with uh, Houston getting more than a field goal. But again, your opinion weighs very heavily in my final analysis. I'm still massaging this game, circling it, trying to figure out what I think about it. All right, what's your third value pick for us, Doug Upstone? My third value pick is with the Arizona Cardinals uh, mm. this week, once again. And, you know, in the Grand Canyon State, you know, there's a lot going on here with uh, Carson Palmer uh, being out and everybody's wondering what's going to happen. You know, and a lot of the fans here are pretty excited, obviously, with their 8-1 and one record. And, you know, when you look at their situation, I think they're in a fairly advantageous position. Now, Detroit looks very good at 7-2, uh, leading the NFC, NFC North, and really like what Jim Caldwell has done in bringing a much more disciplined approach to this team. But yet, when Detroit hits the road to come to here to the desert, they're only 1-7, excuse me, they're 1-7 they're straight up and against the spread. I think the Arizona players are going to be pumped up to prove that they can win without Carson Palmer, and I think ultimately they're going to take down the Detroit Lions. All right, Doug Upson, three very, very interesting picks this week for your value picks. We will see how this turns out. Talk to you next week. Thanks, Doug. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.